Hello everyone. So in this video, we will see mathematics graded as one question number four. So let's start. Let us define a function g from n to n such that g of zero value is twelve, g of one value is twelve, and the general value of g of x is twelve. Okay. So in all these set which are asked, we have tell we have been tell that x is less than or equal to five. Okay. No issues. So we will first find individual value of g of x. Sorry, g of zero, which is given. G of one is also given. We will find g of two, g of three, g of four, and g of five. Okay. So first we will find g of two. By this general formula, g of two will be two, g of two minus one plus g of two minus two. Okay, which is equal to two. G of two minus one is g of one, which value is zero. Plus g of two minus two is g of zero, which is value is one. It implies that g of two is equal to two. Okay, g of three, g of three equal to three. G of three minus one that is g of two plus g of three minus two that is g of one. Okay, which is equal to three two plus zero. It implies that g of three equal to six. G of four equal to four. G of four minus one is g of three plus g of four minus two is g of two, which is equal to four six plus two four eight four multiplied by eight is thirty two. G of four as value thirty two. Okay, next g of five last one is equal to five multiplied by g of five minus one is g of four plus g of five minus two is g of three, which is equal to five thirty two plus six, which is equal to five multiplied by thirty eight equal to one ninety. G of five equal to one ninety. Okay, now we will see S one. S one is values of x where g of x is even. Okay, so what are the values of x where g of x is even? So for x equal to one, value of function is zero. Okay, so S one equal to one. For x equal to two, function is again even. For x equal to three, is value is six. For x equal to four, value is thirty two, which is even. And for x equal to five, value is one ninety, which is also even. So we got this at S one. Now find S two. X where g of x is odd. Okay. For x equal to zero, we get g value is equal to one, and it will be a singleton set. S two equal to singleton set zero. Then t, g of x is prime. Okay. So t will equal to. Mm, yeah. At x equal to two, we get the value two, which is a prime number. We know that zero and one are not the prime number, so it will t will be the singleton set two. Okay. Now let us check the option. T is an infinite set, which is absolutely wrong. We can see that T is a singleton set. Second option, T is not an empty set. Yes, it is correct. T is a singleton set. S one is one two three four. No, S one is one two three four five. Therefore, this option is wrong. S two is zero one two. S two is singleton set zero. So this option is also wrong. The function G is not surjective. Now, what is a surjective function? Surjective function are function whose range equal to Co-domain, where co-domain of G is natural number. Okay, so co-domain is natural number. And what is range? For we can start for zero, G value is one. For one, value is zero. For two, value is two. For three, G of three is six. G of four is thirty-two. So we can see that there is break in the sequence. So here, range is not equal to co-domain. Hence, we can say that G is not a surjective function. So the option four is also correct. Thank you.